Hi, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel where I speak about a new journey of empowerment with goddesses and entities and I share my realizations and my teachings. First of all, I'd really appreciate the courtesy of your like and subscribe to help my new channel grow. My videos take many hours to produce and I'm freely sharing my spiritual diary with the world. So again, in advance, thank you so much for your two-way energy. So this is part two of my series where I speak about specific entities that have come forward. Please check out my part one where I speak about my earlier spiritual foundation and I'll talk about how I came to meet God as Lilith. So that first video I was kind of stepping out of my comfort zone on YouTube and it ended up being quite a love letter to the goddess. I was quite proud of that one and she certainly let me know she was pleased when I finished that video. Now as you watch my videos please try to focus on my words and the energy behind them. The imagery I use is from a limited library of stock footage and trying to convey spiritual experiences and energy in video form is not easy. So again, it's all about the energy. So in this video, I'll be sharing my experience with Goddess Lilith and what she has brought to me. This is my own personal gnosis and what I feel called to share. Your experience with Lilith and your practice may be very different from mine. Okay, let's get started and I'll see you at the end of this video. Let's pick up where we left off in part one. After her energy connected with me in 2019, I'd feel her divine, powerful and peaceful presence on a daily basis. This alone was a revelation, which would spur me onto a deeper connection and understanding of her and my spiritual path. I was riding a high on this new energy and any depression I may have had back then evaporated. But eventually through a major life change in 2021, I'd have to learn to work on my own vibration and individual spiritual strength. The rug of a long-term relationship would be pulled out from under me, all part of a new journey to freedom and power with the goddess by my side. More on that to come. I felt a growing sense of devotion build soon after she came forward. It felt like a deep, loving connection that I couldn't fully explain. On asking three different and trusted mediums, all mentioned a history of past lives with her energy. It was news to my conscious mind, but trusting my soul's journey in the now was all that mattered. My adoration would continually draw me back to her altar, and I would feel her warm, smiling energy. I would invoke her quite a bit back then during more elaborate rituals, but now things are more mellow and devotional. Despite a bewildering initial connection, everything felt right and letting go and fully trusting would take time. I would later realise this was all planned, all part of my existing spiritual journey and growth, waiting to hatch at the right moment. I also felt quite alone in trying to understand this new connection. Finding good information about Lilith that doesn't relegate her to a wrathful demoness wasn't particularly easy. Not just historical myths that demonise the feminine, but also some modern commentators that seem to present her from a place of dramatic effect and ego, based only on the darker end of the spectrum, rather than from a balanced spiritual maturity, at least from my own personal observation and experience. As always, everyone's perspective and gnosis is unique to them. All I felt was love, warmth and divine peace, despite his strong character and popular depictions. It was also apparent as a man on a spiritual path working with her, there's an undeniable sense of union with her divine feminine energy, suggesting her reconciliatory and healing approach with the masculine within me and within the world. I personally found her to be a goddess of fairness, balance, wholeness and union. I eventually discovered a book called Embracing Lilith by Mark H. Williams, which I highly recommend for a balanced and fair view of Lilith and how she helps and blesses the world through her divine justice and deep love. The reimagined myths presented in the book are more easily understood than the historical material and were apparently delivered by the goddess herself to the author during moments of receptivity. Being an aspect of the dark divine feminine, she certainly has fierce and blunt aspects which I've experienced on occasion and she's clearly powerfully protective, and sometimes difficult spiritual lessons need to be learned on the way. On the whole though, I feel a loving, nurturing and even joyful vibe with her. Many times has she stepped forward spontaneously, with a beautiful presence which amplifies my devotional vibration towards her, an evidently divine presence. My path with her is undeniably of union with the divine feminine, balancing and strengthening those aspects within myself, and stepping into what I call a divine masculine role, with a focus on growth, empowerment, healing and sexuality, becoming bolder in these aspects and more, balanced with a strong feminine power of Lilith herself. 
She has healed and strengthened my sexual power through direct workings and other aspects that are still being revealed to me over time. Her alchemy has brought more love, reverence and desire for the feminine, appreciation for motherhood, and a discarding of the idea of the battle of the sexes. Rather, a cooperation and desire for union and healing with the feminine, holding space for the wounded feminine, honouring the complementary differences, and sometimes painfully letting go of whomever no longer serves our path of growth, freedom and service. It's been a beautiful and challenging journey that's still very much unfolding. Emotionally, there's been moments of healing with her too. On one memorable occasion, I had a major cathartic release that happened spontaneously, lasting some two hours. It felt like a lifetime of grief had been released. My old medium likened it to a volcanic eruption, after which it was time for renewal and regrowth. During some early rites and workings with her, I would see numerous references to serpents, or I'd be offered portions of apple in my mind's eye, for example. Even her own blood was referenced in my astral vision a few times. There are too many experiences, visions and manifestations to possibly mention. Some are strong with her energy very present, other times much more subtle. How does she feel to me? Her energy ranges from a high vibe bright feeling that's divinely peaceful, which I believe is her divine feminine energy, to thickly sensual, warm and sometimes erotic, then occasionally a somewhat strange, dark and edgy vibration, sometimes at night. Describing spiritual vibration is very difficult to put into words, and these brief video summaries simply don't cut it. I always feel safe with her. More facets of herself are being revealed to me over time, including recently what I felt to be a more outcast, wild woman aspect. So what else has Lilith brought into my life? Well, I'd like to make a separate video about this soon. There's much more I'd like to share over time, and I'd like to build my channel content as well. Okay, there we go. That's my brief overview of my experience of God as Lilith so far. I hope that has inspired you. She is beautiful, she is strong, she is loving. I adore her. And please stay tuned for my next few videos where I speak about Nayama, Ashtoreth and King Belial and more. Until then, may you be empowered and blessed.